Duke, and it's challenging. Mabry again. Third time's a charm. Yeah. Threes. Williams doubled inside. Turner gets it, and Notre Dame pushes it. Mabry, can she do it again? Yep. Responded with the, some of their passing and playmaking with their dearth at uh, the point guard position this year. And Taya Reimer was limited in minutes in the first half because of two fouls. Gets her second bucket of the game. Nine points now for Williams. Westbelt, who did check in for Reimer, puts it in off the glass. Lindsay Allen in the open court has Lloyd to her right, but decides to take it in. Lefty! A dynamite move by the sophomore. You can't Euro any better than that. Step around the defense with a change of pace. And Elizabeth Williams called for the charge, her second foul. Jewel Lloyd has not scored in the second half. Bullet pass perfectly to Reimer. Four of their five starters are over six feet tall, and that's a good look buried by Westbelt. Lloyd found a spot. You're not going to miss from there much. On Rebecca Greenwell, you can see why teams play her the way they play her. You can't. Lloyd just blew by everybody. She is unbelievable. She's explosive. Henson doubled down. Now Williams, who took it right in. Four fouls. She's going to come in for Notre Dame. Stevens to Williams. Gets it again. So out of the timeout, let's see what Notre Dame dials up. Lloyd is always a good choice. Wow, what a strong take. So athletic. Anna Turner, there she is, the ACC freshman of the year, just came back in. Jewel Lloyd has taken over for the Iron. Williams doesn't get it to her. A lot of contact and a charge on Williams. Rebound. Duke back in their zone. Lloyd cutting in and scores. Uh, it's going to be a matter of too little, too late. Notre Dame survive in advance as they take it 55-49. They will play the winner of Louisville, Florida State tomorrow at 1 Eastern.